following up on the 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 uh, standardized testing question yeah. uh, or this uh, issue, it, research shows that test scores are often um, determined or driven by socioeconomic and other factors. So, I mean, how well do you think the state's current accountability system, how fairly is it measuring schools? And do you think that our current accountability system is a, is a good way to determine whether a school should be closed? Well, just to be clear, ultimately the accountability I'm, I'm most concerned about is accountability to the parents. Now, to, this, to the extent that you can provide parents with better information as to what's going on with an individual school or individual school district, I've supported, in theory, the concept of having different letter grades, not one rank file letter grade system, but having a letter grade on school growth, another one on achievement, another one on socioeconomic conditions, so that everybody can understand what they're getting into in a particular um, a school. So it's, in other words, you're informing the consumer. And um, so from that perspective, I'd support something of improved accountability on it. But the problem when you get into that mess is that now all of a sudden you are pushing for, uh, it's not just what the end game is, it's what are all the intermediate steps ne necessary to get to that point. And when you go down that point, like teacher tenure reform, for example, I was, we definitely needed to stop practices like last in, first out, where we were eliminating some of our best teachers in the classroom. Um, but the solution that came up, that they came up with, required that you had to start grading the teachers and assessing the teachers. Well, in order to do that, you need to go off and do an assessment. Well, it's that assessment that led to this statewide standard uh, approach and the micromanagement of the classroom by the state and by the federal government. So while that, the accountability framework that you're kind of alluding to sounds good, and I'd like to have all that information out for parents, keep in mind what happens in order to implement that system. It forces that statewide assessment, because now I'm getting to the point where, all right, I'm going to do achievement, so I gotta, unless you're just going to grade the socioeconomic conditions, if that's the only thing you're going to do, forget what I'm going to say here next. But if you're going to go off and start grading the achievement and the growth uh, of that particular school, now all of a sudden you're pointing to a statewide assessment. And uh, just be careful what you wish for <laughs> is what it comes down to. I'm a big proponent that ultimately it's the customers who determine what the quality is. If you want to find out whether or not a school is good or not, you go in and talk to the teachers. You talk to the teachers in classes that are not, in the, cl uh, that are not the teachers that your students are going to be in because they're the ones who know what goes on in their classroom. Better yet, talk to the teachers in the grade level above the teacher that you're in right now because they'll tell you whether or not the students were prepared for uh, that uh, for their classroom. So there's a lot of different ways to go off and approach accountability. As an engineer, I immediately I started looking at a, the idea of a statewide assessment. I'm going, yeah, I could get I could get behind ASH. We have ASHRAE standards or something that are standardized, but uh, ultimately what it comes down to is I want the the uh, individual parent saying, yeah, that was a good job uh, or not a good job.